One of those videos that fills Americans with anger and horror, an American man pleading for help. He vanished in Iran four and a half years ago, and on the tape, this 33-year veteran of the FBI asks the U.S. government to reward his service and come to his aid. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, on the tough choice facing the U.S. tonight. For my, you know, my beautiful, my loving, my loyal wife, Christine. American officials thought Levinson was dead until this proof of life hostage video was sent to his wife in an anonymous email and posted today on his family's website. I am not in very good health. I am running very quickly out of diabetes medicine. He has probably lost about 75 pounds and the shirt he was wearing is actually the shirt he wore when he disappeared. The former FBI agent was working as a private investigator when he disappeared in 2007 on the Iranian resort island of Kish, where Americans can go without a visa. And it remains a mystery as to who in Iran kidnapped Levinson or why. On the video, recorded at least a year ago, Levinson purposely avoids naming his captors in his plea for help. 33 years of service to the United States deserves something. Please help me. The Levinson family says it posted the video and its own statement, with Mrs. Levinson wearing a headscarf and her son David next to her in an effort to start negotiations with whoever has him. Please help us. We tried to contact you, but you never responded. Levinson has seven children and two grandchildren, one he has never met, and the holidays, the family says, are especially hard. The frustration is that every day passes and he's still not home with us, and I don't know how to get him home. Iran has denied holding Levinson, but U.S. officials believe someone or some faction in that country is responsible and in control of the Americans' fate. ABC News has learned that FBI officials have had direct talks with Iranian officials in Europe, but the recent tensions with Iran, including this week's captured drone, have badly disrupted efforts to free their former colleague, Diane.